Okay, well, just finished this beast. Um, did not do a time lapse of it. I thought that would be too difficult to do straight building and kind of boring because this is all like symmetrical and you have to do the same thing three or four times. So I just uh, thought I'd do a quick review here after it's built um, and go from there. So this is the giant German gun from World War II. I've had this uh, for like two years now and just finally got around to putting it together. Um, it's a lot bigger than you kind of think it would be. <laughs> um, you can see the scale of it compared to everything else. Whoa, almost fell. Um, yeah, it's big. And I might do a reverse time lapse whenever I go to sell it or take it apart. But the detail is is pretty good, I think. And I think it's a it's a good look. There's a lot of little bits, all the trucks down here, and it does move like it's on wheels, so. You know, it's got its own dedicated double track <laughs> um, to get this thing around, which is true in real life for what it was. Um, comes with these little people as well, so I stuck them up top. You can see the ammo getting ready to load. Uh, this thing kind of swings up and down. There's, there's a, you get four weighted uh, pieces right here that weigh a ton to, I guess, balance out the gun. Um, but overall, it's a, it's, a, it's a good look, I guess. Um, it also comes with, uh, back here, I snuck, snuck him in the side, a little, a little Hitler dude. And, you know, I don't exactly want to put this on my model because I think it's kind of weird to display Nazis. So uh, he's, you know, just going away and <laughs> gonna, go, gonna go in the bag with all the extra bits. So uh, you won't see him around. But all these other Germans uh, don't really have anything that like identifies them. They just look like right random uh, employees. Um, I stuck all the ones with the shoulder pad, which isn't even a real swastika, it's, it's just one to look like it, I guess, for aesthetics. But there were, um, two of the, two, well, there's, ugh. there's, uh, four arms, but I put them on two dudes so that I don't have that displayed or, or anything, so it's, it's just more of a generic gun than <laughs> an identified one. Um, but no matter, um, like I said, I, this is, this was kind of like a temporary thing. I didn't want to buy, you know, hold this forever. So it was just something to put together because I, I always kind of like the look of it. You know, you know, those German engineers, they know what they're doing, it seems like. But, um, yeah, um, the, the barrel itself sags a little bit and I tried to fix that, but it's, it's, it just is what it is, so that's not going to be fixed as much. Although, from this angle, it looks worse than it is in real life. Um, I also kind of put this together backwards, so what I thought I'd kind of do is, uh, well, fix that. Just to kind of show you how it works, you know, all modularly together. So, um, if I can, like this part comes off pretty easily and here's where you can see the uh, four weighted these are all like super heavy four um, <laughs> weighted pieces uh, to balance that gun out um, zoom back in this top part should just come right off like so of course none of these were <laughs> yeah, they all slid off because they're just kind of sitting on top of, of, of it. Then you have this whole piece comes off like that. And then underneath, um, there's little things down here that uh, that's what that's what slides into the little holes. And that's what keeps it together. This is symmetrical. So it's the same on both sides, um, pretty much. So set that down. Really, I could just flip it around right here. So. I get those aligned, fall into the little holes. Boom, there you go. Then it's just a matter of putting on, I think the gun first makes more sense. So he goes there. 
drop that down. And then the last bit is uh, this guy. Although something came off. It should fit kind of like that. I'll snap it all down afterwards. Um, because it might take a little bit to get together. Guns back up. Everything looks fine. Slide this up. There you go. There it is, facing the right way <laughs> that I intended. So yeah, just kind of wanted to show that off a little bit of the latest project. Like I said, it's it's huge. Look at look at it from this angle and the scale. Uh, it's so ridiculous. Um, but it is not something I'm gonna keep forever. Again, I just wanted to kind of build it just to build it, and then I'll probably sell it back somehow, some way, sometime. Um, and then maybe do a t reverse time lapse when I collapse it all and get rid of it. So there you go. Um, I don't know what project I'm going to work on next. I got a lot of them in the backlog still. I got like 30 Lego sets. So yeah, I'll enjoy it for now. Um, and then at some point, probably get rid of it. You know, oh, got to make room for more stuff. And, you know, it's a constant rotation of what's all, you know, built out here. And looking as nice as you can get it. So there you go.